So let me give you, since some people feel that the scriptures are too complex for them to understand, let me give you some indicators. If you see these things anywhere, run away. Satan is in charge of that temple. Are you there? So I had to go do serious research based on the things we have compiled through counseling over the years. Number one, if you see anything that looks like animal sacrifices in the execution of the terms of the priesthood, it means that you are dealing with Satan. Someone sent me a voice note about a lady that he brought, he brought to assist. Then the lady goes to this temple. And then they pray. It says, Yeshua, 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 Yeshua. Then after they do that one, they say, no, it's a name, it's a real name. Of, it's a Hebrew version of the name of Jesus. That is more effective when you... So when they finish the Yeshua, then they have to, there's an additional part. They will give them chickens. And each, each person must sacrifice his own chicken. And then they pour the blood. And... So that's another appendage of the Yeshua. The moment you see anything that looks like animal sacrifice, you are dealing with with satan you are transacting with satan and the bible says shall not a people seek unto their god number two ceremonial baths where strange soaps are given to people and sometimes there is a requirement that you need to take your bath at the river bank Anybody in this congregation ever obeyed such an instruction? You had to go to the river bank to take your bath. You know we are in the house of light. The reason why I'm here today is so that every chain will be broken. When you come here, are you with me? Don't be ashamed. Are you, are you following what I'm talking about? Ah, you are not following. That's why the response is dying out. I said, are you, are you here? <laughs> I was speaking with my wife before we came. A lady came here. She has gone back now. A lady came here. While I, we did the altar call, she refused to come up. The reason was because she knows she has my number. So when I was just preparing for this service, and I now started seeing lumps of um, messages from that lady. She was doing her own confessions on WhatsApp because she was too proud. To come and say, we went and took water and we danced naked. You have lost the virtue of sincerity. You don't need help. You need to walk through the wilderness and let the sun scourge you. Then the spirit of repentance will embrace you. That shame will leave. It is that day that you are entitled to, to deliver. So let's do it again. How many of you here have ever had a ceremonial bath before? You went to the water side. Number three is called temple prostitution. When the person that you went to help you felt that part of the requirement of the deliverance is sexual intercourse. You know this congregation is... We used to be excited before. I don't know what's happened to... Ah, Sakaya Mokuria. My job is to prepare you. Jesus wants to fill the gap. Of missionary manpower he's looking for people to you so my job is to prepare you for what Jesus wants to do with the church in Nigeria the devil is aware that Jesus will come here to look for recruits 
so he came and brought all these kinds of contamination so that people will be dealing with issues of satanic entrance in their lives and god will not have recruits for his army temple prostitution now for that one I don't know how to deal with it temple prostitution because you still need deliverance but I, I may not want the congregation to know the case so we need to pastor Tony you are the one that is a pastor how can we handle such matters give me wisdom now do you have wisdom uh, for those of you here we are going to drop pastor Tony's contact on the platform if you have if you have ever been a victim of temple prostitution someone claimed to be doing a religious spiritual cleansing ritual and he now told you that there was a last procedure which requires the anointing <laughs> may the lord help us in the name of jesus christ number four nude prayers the kind of prayer you pray you get naked first before you start that kind of the reason why i know this gospel is going far because the way we are quiet i know god is winning <laughs> nude you go naked first you have been doing nude prayers Tell me. you know this is a temple of life you are, you don't understand let's start again you have been doing that kind of powerful nude prayer huh? okay is it jesus who did you see in the bible that did that is it the apostles went naked Shall not a people seek unto their own God? Where did you learn that from? Hmm. Number what? All right, so that's Pastor Tony's number. Those of you online, is this online too? Pastor Tony, I don't know you, come. This is my gallant brother in the struggle. <laughs> so please, this Pastor Tony, and that's his number on the platform. You are liberty to share with him very things that you have hidden for 25 years. We are going to treat every information you disclose um with utmost secrecy and the intention for which we ask for this feedback is so that we can put you on a platform to achieve deliverance okay all right so i'm going to stop in number number what now we talked about animal sacrifices What's the second one? Ceremonial bath. What's the third one? Temple prostitution. What's the next one? Nude prayers. The fifth one is what we call the exchange, exchange philanthropy. Exchange philanthropy. It's okay. The end of the exercise is that you go and buy rice and take to the motherless baby's home. Or buy something, go and give to beggars. That's exchange philanthropy. The moment you make that sacrifice, that offering, Satan marks you. And he marks your genealogy after you. The prophet said, should not 